Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So today we're going to talk about the new announcement of some new Space Marine Bandai action figures and I'm very very happy because one of them is a glorious Imperial Fist and it looks fantastic. So let's jump in and let's read the article and go through all the information that we have. So we've all seen the Bandai figures before. We saw it with the Ultramarine one, and it was fantastic. I regretted buying an Ultramarine one. Um, I've always regretted it because they sold out. Um, it, it went really, really fast. Um, and, you know, a few people were teasing me, saying, yeah, all right, we will give you one. I was like, no, I'll just hold out. I'll just hold out, just in case. And I'm glad I have done now because we have two announcements of two brand new figures. One is a glorious Imperial Fist and the other is a Salamander. The information that we have in the article, it says, it's time to make some space on your display shelves because a new premium Space Marine action figures are on their way from Bandai. Last year, our partners at Bandai I put their considerable experience into action figure design towards creating a battle brother for your Space Marine Citadel miniatures. And that is the Ultramarine one, which is in the background now, if you want to say that. I think everyone's seen it. The Ultramarine successor action figure was incredibly popular and sold out quickly. It did. It sold out very quickly. I don't think it sold out straight away. I think it sold out in like a week or something, if I'm not mistaken. And since then, Bandai has been hard at work on new designs so that Space Marine fans everywhere can get their very own articulated Angels of Deaths. Allow us to introduce the Imperial Fist and salamander intercessors oh my holy emperor of mankind look how absolute pure sex that imperial fist figure is it, it's just beyond i need it I, I, I just need it right here right now so let's start with the information about the salamander because we'll leave the best to last because of course the sons of dawn are the best so it says the salamander is armed with an ornate bolt rifle inspired by the design of the codex supplement salamanders his markings show that he belonged to the second squad of the second company and like the imperial fist figure he comes with a combat knife and a variety of hands to hold weapons in just keep him away from candles you know what salamanders are like with fire yes because they like to burn everything their planet is basically a volcano with dragon lizards on it and stuff like that um it does say um the size of these figures again we already know this uh, i'll just go over it again it says both action figures stand an impressive eight inches tall and are massively poseable with 53 points of ar uh, articulation sorry i can't even pronounce it i'm so excited each leg alone um has 12 you'll be able to have them standing uh, uh, any way you please if you take them out the box that is it's do, do people take them out of the box or just keep them in the box are we are we like uh, uh, keeping these like they may be worth millions one day i'm not too sure right um let's go back over to the imperial fist because this 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 is it this is i, I love it so it says the imperial fist action figure represents a primaris battle brother from the sixth squad of the chapter's third company i have to say as soon as i get this uh the red uh, company is going i'm changing it to fifth company because if there's one thing i don't like about my imperial fist it's looking right ronald mcdonald so third company is going and fifth company is taking over because we all know now fifth company is the best company here's our with an auto bolt rifle which is great because that is what all my <laughs> imperial fists that i'm with auto bolt rifles getting all those glory sixes you know free shots amazing uh, that's fitted with an auxiliary grenade launcher and he also comes with a combat knife he has three choices of hands for each arm allowing you to pose him in a wide variety of ways as he defends the wall of terror so walls of terror should i say or you know your bookcases how dare you any and anywhere where you put an imperial fist basically is terror so that's what it is you know he's defending it and it cannot be breached now when can you get these it says i want them how do i get them you can pre-order both the imperial fist and salamander figures from saturday the 12th of september they'll be available to order for one weekend and delivered into your eager hands next year after being made to order basically what they did with the last um, bandai figure you, you 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 ordered it and a couple of months later it, it came to you i think what what what, what they what, well what their goal is behind this is that they basically they don't want to over uh, overproduce them. Um, they they actually just want to make it to how many orders they get. So that's why they do it. They take it all in, and then um, they get sent off the order. The order gets processed, and then they make how many uh, figures were actually ordered. And then they send those figures out. Um, it does say, don't worry about us selling out. Everyone who orders a figure will get one. There's no way the Imperial Fist um, uh, would be found derelict in their duty after all, of course, because the Imperial Fist... Um, at, 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 at the chapter that puts duty above everyone. They're the most loyalist chapter. We we know this. They were the chosen 
of the Emperor, the Praetorians of Terror. I know, Ultramarines, go and cry into your books, but that's just the way it is, I'm afraid. Um, anyway, um, I love these bloody things. I'm going to be buying one. And how many do I buy? This is another thing. Do I buy a full 10-man squad of these now? And then put them all the way around my room and start doing like little stop motion animations about Varak leading his own squad of Imperial Fist in his house. Hmm, there's so many choices for me to think of now in the coming days. Anyway, thank you for coming. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Tell me what you think about them. Are you going to get a Salamander? Are you going to get um, an Imperial Fist? Are you going to get neither of them? Are you just going to get one to, I don't know, rip apart? Tell me what you want in the comment section and we'll uh, have a nice little chat down there as we always do. See you now. Have a great day and bye bye.